Welcome to Shrove Tuesday with Mini Minis. Uh, I'm Alec. This I'm is... Mary. Uh, and we're going to make some pancakes. Yum. So, now we've done our pancakes, congratulations. If you flip them, spot on, good effort. Um, but we need to talk about what Shrove Tuesday is all about uh, and why we make these, these odd things in the first place. Uh, you know, they taste really good and in some ways that's important as well. Um, so we're lucky, we call this day Pan Day, Pancake Day or, or Shrove Tuesday. Uh, and lots of different countries call it lots of different things and in some ways we're actually quite lucky that we call it Shrove Tuesday um, because the, tr the trick is in the name so Shrove, Shrove Tuesday, if you look at what Shrove means it sort of means to, to well it means to shrive um, and in Old England, you've got to think a long long time ago uh, this was the day where people would go and have confessions or actually over the last week or a few days or, or so they would go and have their confession, if we remember what confession is it's when we, we tell God all the things that we've done wrong um, and in return he, he forgives us. Um, so this day is really about being sorry for what we've done. Um, and you might be thinking, okay, why, why would we need to be sorry about what we've done? Because what's tomorrow? We've got Lent. Right tomorrow. It starts on Ash Wednesday. Um, and so starting Ash Wednesday uh, in the right way, being, uh, well, the word is penitent, so it would be to be sorry. Uh, it would be a great way to start, to start Lent. So now, then you're also thinking, okay, that's the meaning of Shrove, that's Shrove Tuesday. 
But how did we get to the point where we were making these as good as they are? Mm. Now, traditionally in Lent, we give up dairy, milk, meat. Um, we may not anymore, but people used to. Um, and so this would be the last day of what they would call Shrove Tide, which would be those few days leading up to Ash Wednesday Lent. And they'd be trying to get rid of everything that in their cupboards over the last week of Lent. Uh, and on this very last day, often what the only thing they would have had left would have been eggs, butter, uh, flour and milk. And so to get rid of all those last little bits, they'd have made pancakes. And it would have been the last day or where they would have got everything in and then they would be totally ready for Lent starting tomorrow. So we get to enjoy uh, a day. Uh, lots of countries call it Fat Tuesday um, or Mardi Gras in French uh, and all sorts of things. But today we get to enjoy these. A couple of other quick stories for you. Um, back in, uh, I actually looked it up, but I couldn't find when Pancake Day, well, when Shrove Tuesday, the like tradition of it started. But it's easily a thousand years old. Um, but you might be interested. We've had pancake races, and you might have one in a local town. Um, and traditionally, they go back to 1445. People had pancake races. They've been having pancake races for over 500 years. And it started in Olney, which is actually just up the road from here in Buckinghamshire in England. And it's because a woman was making pancakes uh, and then the bells rung for mass and she rushed over to mass uh, with the pancakes still in her pan, still ready for mass because she was late. And so from that, we now, we now do uh, pancake races. Uh, you may also have heard of a big school, uh, big, well not big school, big football games people have and they'll have like mob football games. These aren't so big anymore but still a few towns do those. And the last one, the last cool story I've got is there's a school in Westminster, it's called Westminster School, so in London um, and every year the cook will make a huge pancake and then the cook will toss it up in the air over a five metre bar and when it comes back down again, catch it, and then all the school kids run out and they grab a piece of the pancake, and the person who gets the biggest piece of the pancake wins, uh, and they get they get a prize from the school. Um, so just a few things for you there. But let, let's just quickly summarise. I know I've, I've talked about a lot of stuff. So Shrove Tuesday, uh, the real meaning today is is about preparation for Lent. It's about getting uh, rid of yes, what's in our cupboards, but but also what's uh, inside us. Um, we, we ask God to forgive us, um, we start Lent afresh, um, and then we have these, these 40 days of fasting where we're really able to look forward and prepare for Easter, which is of course when, when Jesus rises um, and, 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 and beats the devil and is victor victorious. Um, so yes, enjoy your pancakes, but just remember this isn't just about pancakes, uh, it's also about that preparation for Lent uh, and those 40 days of fasting that we've got to come. So, um, please, uh, if you made your pancakes, send us uh, what you made, send us uh, what they look like, anyone got them stuck to the ceiling, we definitely want a photo of that. Um, uh, yeah, uh, and just uh, let us know how you're doing, and let us know what you're doing for Lent as well. Uh, we also have a Lent challenge for you, so if you head over to the Mini Minis website, um, there are two Lent doodles, uh, and each day you colour in an object on the doodle and then you fill in the associated challenge. If you fancy uh, joining us and doing that, please head over to the website, all the information's on there, uh, as well as all sorts of stuff to do with Lent uh, and for the, the current times around. So, wonderful. We'll see you next time. Bye.